Hello and good afternoon, good morning, good evening America, wherever you're tuning in from. This is another edition of your favorite review show of all time, Hillbilly DVD Reviews. I think it's Hillbilly DVD Reviews. <laughs> so today we're going to do, do a little, uh, another little independent movie, but still one of the best movies ever made as this far as I'm concerned. Movie, this here is called Animal Factory. Now a couple things about this movie you got to know right off the bat. One, it was directed by Steve Buscemi. Now, let me go on a tangent here and say a lot of times when actors direct movies, they're not very good. Uh, this it, is the exception it, to the rule. Yeah, uh, yeah, usually when an actor directs a movie, it's like some really emotional bullshit where everybody yeah. cries and they want to... It, it's like they want to get their name out as the director. Steve Buscemi was like, I'm going to take an unpopular book written by... Uh, Ed, Edward Bunker, who was a real criminal, actually. He was a real criminal who had dog eat dog, bunch of great yeah. prison... Things. He was also an actor and sometimes on Reservoir Dogs. Yeah, we'll talk about that too. But uh, Bushimi knows his shit. He knows what he wants to shoot. It's not a bunch of long, drawn-out bullshit. No, this is awesome, man. This is this has got a Edward Furlong, one of the greatest roles he's ever done in his life. He's yeah, such a great actor. I, I, I mean, I mean, I don't want to put his shit out there, or whatever. But supposedly Eddie Furlong like had some problems with drugs, whatever. I don't give a shit. He was a good young actor. You know, he's still young and skinny and healthy looking. Right, right, you know, right. it looks like it's. Uh, you know, just like five, six years after T2. He, he, yeah. He's on his, he's on point, man. He's American History X time. Yeah, whatever. yeah. A-game. Ironically enough, he actually goes to prison for drugs in this movie, so. Yeah, um, so, I mean, apparently but, he didn't um, learn, but. Yeah, but like, you, you want to talk about your awesome fucking cast in this shit? You got fucking Danny Trejo, you know, Machete. You got fucking Willem Dafoe. And, and like, this. that's another thing, too. Like, look at the cover right here. Danny, they show three guys right here. Danny Trejo's one of them. He's got a main role. He ain't yeah, just, man. He ain't just playing some yeah. random bullshit. I mean, you think you ever first heard of this fucker in Machete? This guy's been doing main roles forever, man. He's awesome, dude. Willem Dafoe, even though he ain't on the cover, fucking Mickey Rourke is in this Mickey movie. Mickey Rourke is awesome in Awesome as fuck. Mark Boone Jr., respected yeah. independent actor as well. Yeah, man. Drunk. And a bunch of no-names, too, but, like, everyone's an awesome actor. The plot of this movie is, as you, we kind of already hinted, is Eddie Furlong is this druggy kid. He's actually kind of a... Look at this snobby boy is born with a silver spoon, right? Yeah. Something like that. And like his dad, his rich daddy can't help him, so he's got to go to jail. He gets, he gets like the maximum sentence. The judge kind of makes an example out of his little snotty ass. So he goes to jail, right? So the whole movie is this little bitch snotty. ass judge. Yeah. yeah, it was kind of a bitch ass judge. So the whole movie is Eddie Furlong, this white collar, you know, young clean cut kid in, in a real fucking jail. And um, the fact that this was written by Edward Bunker, who was in jail many times, um, I would have to say it's that it's authentic, I mean, man. Yeah, it's like it, it shows you the, everything that's bad about jail. Yeah, man. It was just a good story because it shows a guy ever from never been in jail. Yeah, he got to go right off the bat. Everybody's ready to make mincemeat out of this fucking kid. Yeah, and you know it shows what he has to go through to survive, make friends. Right, right. And, and what's cool is they have like the whole cast of characters. They got like now you know not everyone's a hard fucking convict. You got like all kinds of. Fucking people for in jail for different reasons. Everybody's got their own story. It's not just like a bunch of you know extra motherfuckers. Everybody that you see talking in this movie, they're a real actor. Yeah, they bring real emotion to it. They got a story to it. Now I'm not I'm not going to give too much away, but the whole point of the movie is uh, Eddie just wants out of jail. That that's all there is to it. And along the way, he's trying not to get his ass raped. He's trying not to get beat the fuck up. You got Tom Arnold. He gets in the jail. Yeah. Oh, he, like he sees. Eddie Furlong, he thinks Eddie Furlong to him in his mind is like fucking Raquel Welch or something. New fish. Oh, yeah, he man. just wants to fuck Eddie Furlong yeah. so bad, so he's chasing him around. Fucking uh, Willem Dafoe's trying to help him, but in the end, he gets cornered, and, and, and Eddie Furlong has to fight that motherfucker. Well, well, I, mean, I mean, look, let's face it, man. I mean, you, what, you fuckers never seen Oz before. You never seen American Me. We know yeah. what happens in prison. We know what happens. We're not see, ruining see, anything. See, We're not see, that's, thing, anything. Th that's the bad thing about prison and why you don't want to commit crimes and bullshit yeah. is it ain't bad because there's cells and there's guards and there's shitty food. There's bad because man, deal with that shit. Cause man, just motherfuckers just fuck anything that moves in prison. Yeah, so, man. I mean, even people who ain't gay in prison are gay in prison. Like that's how weird it yeah, is. Yeah, man, it's fucked up. Dude. It's, it's like it's like bizarro world. And like yeah. and like Willem Dafoe. To show you how shit deep, how how deep the shit goes right here. Willem Dafoe, who's like his main protector. The only reason Eddie Furlong's even alive in jail. Because Willem Dafoe wants to help him out and shit. Even Willem Dafoe comes on and says, like, listen, man, I ain't going to bullshit you. You're fucking hot as hell. I want to have sex with you. But don't worry about it. I ain't going to rape you. Yeah, I'm, man. you know, I'm just going to help you out because you're a young kid. So, yeah, like, I it, mean, even the good guy in the movie. No punches are pulled. It's just so yeah. realistic, I think. End of the day, I mean, we got to rate this movie. I, I say this movie is a, a top eight. This is definitely Oh, I mean, I mean, this movie good. You know, 
I guess it's a little hindered by it being a prison movie, and that genre has been done a lot. Yeah. But I think this is the best prison movie I've ever seen. Yeah. I'll definitely give it eight out of yeah, ten. Yeah, man. Yeah, dude, definitely. I mean, fortunately, we got to get to the picture and sound quality right now. Um, because this is a DVD, not a Blu-ray. It is. It is. And this is Hillbilly DVD. And it's, it's an old DVD. It's like a two thousand yeah. DVD. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. I mean, so I mean, they didn't quite know what the fuck they were doing back then. No, nah, no. Nah. You put this shit in an up converting Blu-ray player, it's going to look nice. Until they hit the yard and there's like a skyline and blah, blah, blah. The picture, okay, the colors look good, the clarity looks good, but this being some old bullshit, I don't know, whatever, they got some interlacing artifacts. So you're going to see little lines on bullshit sometimes, little jaggies on the side of motherfuckers' heads. It ain't terrible, it ain't going to distract you from whatever, but, you know, it's like it looks good until you take a closer look and then it's like, fuck. The sound ain't bad. They do have some surround sound. Uh -huh. when, when, when you when you put in whatever, it's going to use some stereo bullshit. But the thing is, is like you got to switch it over to the five point one. The five point one sounds a little better. A but, little, but you know, but it's, I mean, it's still, but, it's still you know, so hard. But you know, hey, I mean, it's watchable. You're gonna hear like, everything. It ain't gonna stop. So I'm just gonna say this: picture and sound. It ain't gonna stop you from watching it, but it ain't gonna press you ever. I'm gonna give it a six out of ten. Yeah, man, six is fair. I'll give it a six. I mean, it doesn't ruin the movie or anything, but you know, we gotta be honest and shit. Special features? Special features, they pretty much got a good ass commentary track with yeah. actor Danny Trejo and writer Ed Bunker. And the reason they do that was Danny Trejo did a lot of prison time as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. He knew Eddie Bunker in prison. Who Eddie, by the way, Eddie Bunker guy wrote the book. Who was in jail, blah blah blah. Was in jail. So, so this is how you know this is a real deal. This ain't some fucking fictional bullshit. And then they got some little video interviews with director Steve Buscemi, yeah. Willem Dafoe, Elver Furlong, Mickey Rourke. And Mickey Rourke, man, he plays like a transvestite motherfucker in this role. And you ain't never seen Mickey Rourke. He's a, he's a big tough he's motherfucker. He's awesome, man. He's, he's awesome. like he's like a woman in this movie. He took his teeth out, man. But you know the funny thing is he's still a badass. Like, yeah, he still don't he, take no he's shit. He's still in control he's of his own woman. ass, you know what I'm saying? He's in a men's jail dressing like a woman, whatever, yeah. but you ain't gonna fuck with him. Rape him. You no, ain't gonna fuck with Jane either. actors. Yeah. Special features, I mean, they, you know, they, they tell you what it's like being in jail and shit. And that's the subject matter. So, yeah. I, so I gotta give a special feature seven out of ten because they don't, oh, man, they don't bullshit. Is. You know, you watch the making of Avatar. It's just a bunch of people sitting around being like, "This was the greatest movie ever made." Whatever. It's not really how they made it. It's just people jacking off. On yeah, the show, and like this one, they just you know they tell you kind of how they made a movie, whatever. But they tell you like prison is fucking. Horrible, man. They tell yeah, the truth. Yeah, man. I mean, the fact that Danny Trejo himself was in prison. I, you got to give him special knows. features. as fucking salmon from me. Yeah, man. seven out of ten. But, uh, but awesome movie. Go check it out. Um, and you know what? I mean, I, you know, if you like the fucking movie, go read Eddie Bunker's books, man. Yeah. This, this guy's amazing. Uh, he was actually in Reservoir Dogs, I believe. He was, he was yeah, he played Mr. Blue. Uh, he, I mean, you know, he's, he's an inspiration for many, many filmmakers. Quentin Tarantino, uh, fucking Steve Buscemi. And if you do got to go to prison, like, like take some, right before you go in, take some super glue and duck and fucking super glue your asshole up. Make sure nobody's going to get in there. Yeah, or kick your own ass like Edward Norton. Yeah, beat, beat your later. fucking face yeah. so nobody thinks you're too pretty. Yeah, don't.